Hi friends, this is Atif Hope you're well and welcome to the new update on Bitcoin. Today we have seen another significant drop on the short term chart of the Bitcoin. And let's talk about that, whether the Bitcoin is going to be bullish or bearish in the future. First of all, I want to discuss with you this bearish bad pattern uh, that is formed on the short term four hour chart. After that, uh, we will see some more indicators on the short term chart and some uh, bull flags that the Bitcoin has formed so far from March up till now and I'll also discuss these a combination of indicators that the Bitcoin is following uh, since October 2019 and the different channels that has been formed on the daily chart and on the weekly chart as well and the different simple moving averages and uh, this uh, exponential moving averages as well and at the end of this video, I would like to recall this very big bullish garlic pattern that the Bitcoin has formed on the monthly chart that, that can help the price action to turn very strong bullish on the very long term monthly chart. So let's start the video. And first of all, I would like to take you to the live chart. And this is a short term four hour chart. And in my, in my previous video, uh, we have discussed that the Bitcoin has formed a bearish pattern the bearish bad pattern and after initial lag the uh, a to b lag was retraced between 0.382 to 50 fibonacci this is the first confirmation and the b to c lag was retraced up to between 0.382 to 0.886 fibonacci and after that i have just ignored this extra spike from here and after that the final lag was retraced uh between point uh, 786 to 0.886 Fibonacci retracement. So this was a complete perfect bearish bad pattern and the price action was expected to move down from here and we have seen that the so far the price action is not able to cross up this potential reversal zone and whenever it is entering in this zone this potential reversal zone the price action is moving down first it was moved down up to uh, ninety-one hundred twelve dollars, and now it has moved down up to ninety-one hundred, uh, sorry, eighty-nine hundred and twenty-seven dollars. So, this potential reversal zone uh, has become a very strong support for the price action at this time. Now, let's move to this uh, another small time period four-hour chart. In my previous video, I told you that if the RSI is in the downtrend and the price action is moving sideways or in upward move. Uh, it doesn't mean that the price action will move up. It will be a bearish move. Uh, this is a bearish signal. At that time, we will uh, just watching this point uh, or this signal on the hourly chart. Uh, this was my previous video's chart that I have shared with you in my previous video. And at this time, we can see that this move can, uh, is reflected up to four hour chart. Uh, the price action was moving up to uh, this level, up to 20th of May. Uh, the price action was moving sideways however this trend line uh, this rsi indicator was in the downtrend therefore this was a clear significant signal that the price action can have a drop from here uh, and at this time we can see that the price action is dropping down on this four hour chart and if we uh, see this ten thousand dollar resistance level for the price action then the price action has formed a double top uh, pattern many traders are uh, thinking at this time that this is a double top uh, but in my point of view uh, this is not a perfect double top pattern because if i will place this fibonacci tool on this uh, price action we can see that this rally was started since uh, the mid of the march and it, uh, after uh, placing this fibonacci tool we can see that the price action uh, even did not reach or retraced up to 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level uh, and therefore this drop was not significant to form a double top and we have seen a very minor correction rally and after that the price action is moved up again I'm, I'm just showing you this daily chart and the price action is moved up again and reached very close to the ten thousand dollar level as per bit stamp exchange we have reached up to ninety nine dollars ninety nine hundred and forty five dollars and the price action is again dropping down therefore uh, this double top pattern is not as that much perfect because this drop is not sufficient for a to form a perfect double top pattern therefore uh, i am rejecting this double top theory at this point as the traders are 
during discussion on this double top. However, if we see these bull flags um, on, on this daily chart, then we can see that we are on the third bull flag and so far the price action is not able to uh, cross down or drop more down to invalidate this bull flag. Therefore, uh, we need to be uh, careful that this can be another bull flag for it, the next bullish move. And if we uh, watch these combination of indicators that I have told you already in my previous videos that the Bitcoin is following a pattern with the combination of these three indicators uh, since October 2019 and we have seen that whenever this uh, Hekanashi long-term candlestick oscillator turns green and after that the price action uh, this MACD indicator gives the sell signal then buy signal and the sell signal again and we receive the stochastic bear cross, then the price action drops well. And we have uh, already seen this situation in the month of Feb, from Feb to March as well. We can see that when this oscillator was green, we have received a sell buy and sell signal with the stochastic uh, bear cross, and the then the price line dropped very well. And now at this time, we have received the sell buy and sell signal and previously we have received this bearish, uh, weak bearish signal by the MACD. At that time, uh, many traders were uh, thinking that the price action is uh, moving or turning bullish from here. And in my previous video, I told you it can be a bull trap because uh, we also had such situation here when the price action, when the MACD gave us the sell signal and here, the price action, uh, the MACD again turned weak bearish. Main traders at that time would be thinking that the price action is uh, is going to be bullish from here. But after that, the MACD again turned uh, strong bearish. And the price action moved down up to $3,850 as per Bitstamp exchange. So therefore, we can expect that this time the price action can take a sufficient drop like here. Uh, as we have seen the same move again after receiving the buying sell and uh, sorry sell buy and sell signal we have received a stochastic from the overbought zone and after that the price uh, this MACD was turned big bearish and now it has again turned strong bearish so this is a very critical signal that we have received and from a very top of the MACD uh, we have received this bearish signal however uh, if we see these channels uh, that are formed on the daily chart for the price action from the, this channel from December to Feb, and now it has again formed the same kind of channel uh, from March up till now. And the price action uh, is almost at the support of this channel at this time, that is almost at uh, $8,900. And we have also received this bull cross or golden cross between 50 and 200 simple moving averages just below the price action and this channel as well. That's a, that is a very strong bullish buying signal. It is considered as a bullish buying signal among the traders community as I have told you in my previous videos as well. Uh, and at this time we can see that maybe the traders would be interested to enter in the Bitcoin cause this is a very bullish signal and considered as a buying signal. But we should keep in mind that these moving averages, the simple moving averages, are the lagging indicator. Therefore, uh, we can see that before this golden cross, the price action turned bullish and we have seen a significant bullish rally. Now we can expect that uh, the price action may use these uh, moving averages as a strong support and it will be moved up again. But here, if we see previously, uh, the price action crossed up or broke out these two moving averages. Uh, but uh, if, while using these moving averages as support, the price action could not move up and drop down again. What was the reason behind that? Uh, for that, we need to see uh, these exponential moving averages on the daily chart. We can see that this is the EMA 10, the exponential moving with the time period of 10, and it, this is the EMA 21. At that time, previously, uh, when the price action was moving down to retest these moving averages as a support and here almost at uh, 10th of March on this daily chart the price action dropped down completely broke down these move uh, this 200 simple moving average at that time if we see that the price action before the 10th of March broke down uh, this EMA 10 uh, and EMA 20 support 
the exponential moving averages. So at this time, we can expect that if the price action before uh, retesting these moving averages as a support, if the price action will break down the, this EMA 10 and EMA 21, uh, that, that is not broken down after uh, the bullish rally that was started since March, uh, the mid of the March. And we can see that the price action is using uh, these moving averages uh, as a support very well so far. Uh, and if these moving averages, the EMA 10 and EMA 20, will be drop, uh, broken down before retesting of e uh, simple moving averages with the time period of 50 and 200, then we, we can expect that the price action may, uh, may drop down more or break down these simple moving averages uh, also. Uh, and at this time, the 200 simple moving average is at $8,000. And if this channel support will be broken down, then it will be confirmed that the price action will uh, retest this 200 simple moving average that is at this time at $8,000. Now, uh, we can see that at this time, the price action is also trying to break out this uh, channel, this down channel resistance uh, uh, that is formed on the weekly chart. And we have a very good position of the simple moving average is just below this price action. At this time, the 50 si simple moving average is above all, then 25, then 100, then 200 simple moving average support on this weekly chart is below all the moving averages. Once this 25 simple moving average will cross up this 50 simple moving average, uh, then finally we will receive a an open alligator mouse that was formed also back uh, here, we can see when the price action reached up to $20,000 back in December 2017, then we received a complete and open alligator mouth uh, by these uh, moving averages. And after that, we, uh, we have witnessed a very strong rally by the Bitcoin. Uh, now, this is the final move. Uh, that is due by the price uh, by the moving averages that the 25 simple moving average uh, should cross up this 50 simple moving average then a complete open alligator mouth will be uh, formed and we can expect a very long term bullish rally uh, on the very long term uh, like on monthly or weekly chart and now uh, if we see these uh, resistance levels First of all, we have a very strong resistance block that I have discussed with you in my previous videos as well, uh, that we have a resistance block from $9,000 up to $9,500. And this resistance block is breaking as a support and a resistance since uh, January 2018. We have seen it was working as a support here. Then it, it has been breaking as a resistance level then resistance level, then support level, then resistance level, and at this time it is also working as a resistance level. I was ex expecting that uh, once it will be completely broken out, then the price action will retest uh, this level as a support, and after that it will try to break out the $10,000 level. As uh, we have seen here, that the price action broke out this level, then we tried to retest this uh, support block, but could not retain this support and drop down again. At this time, in fact, the price line is struggling at this support block, not the $10,000 resistance level. First, it needs to break out this support block and after that it will try to break out the $10,000 resistance level. Uh, and at the end of this video, I would like to recall this uh, great and big bullish garlic pattern that has been formed on the monthly chart and I just uh, posted this chart so many times in my previous uh, articles and the videos as well and uh, you can see that the price action turned bullish after entering in this uh, potential reversal zone and produced more than or around 50 percent bullish rally but i'm expecting that soon we will receive a series of bullish candlesticks that will help the price action to uh, to uh, cross up this 0.786 Fibonacci level and that will also help the price line to break out uh, this resistance level of this very big uh, uh, down channel that has been formed on the month on this weekly chart. Uh, this is very significant resistance for the price line. Once it will be broken out then the price action can turn very strong bullish on the long term. So this was the update so far. If I'll have more updates on the Bitcoin I'll definitely share with you. Uh, if you didn't subscribe to my channel so far, then do subscribe it and do share my videos as well. And do share your comments with me as well. And do like the video as well. Take care. Goodbye.